Often, we want to highlight certain objects in our photos. It's not easy to produce a natural photograph with highlighted target objects, since naive segmentation processing will create discontinuities along the boundary of target objects. We present a simple solution based on a camera and projector setup to address this problem. The main idea of this paper is to use the change in intensity of a projected light pattern from camera misfocus. When a point light source illuminates an in-focus object, the spot size is small and its intensity is high. However, when a point light source illuminates an out-of-focus object, the spot size is large and the intensity drops. Using this simple phenomena, we can separate in and out-of-focus objects. We use a projector instead of a point light source for fast operation. We assume a projector has a wide depth of field to cover the whole scene. We present two processing methods for highlighted depth of field photos. We don't use any known geometry information and generate a highlighted depth of field photo depending on only camera focus. In the first method, called single shot, we capture a single photo by projecting a checkered pattern and sampling local maxima points. The resolution of the highlighted depth of field photo is the same as the number of white dots in the pattern, which is smaller than the original captured image. This compares conventional photos and highlighted depth of field photos by the single shot method. In the second method, called invert and compare, we capture two photos with inverted patterns. We acquire a variance map by subtracting the captured images, and a full resolution highlighted depth of field photo is generated based on the map. This result compares a conventional photo and highlighted depth of field photo using the invert and compare method when the woman is focused and the doll is out of focus. In the highlighted depth of field photo, the doll is successfully dimmed while maintaining the brightness of the woman's face. It's remarkable to see how each single hair of the woman is preserved in our highlighted depth of field photo while the doll is darkened. Here is another comparison when focusing is the opposite. The out of focus woman's face is darkened while maintaining brightness of the doll. It is noticeable how seamless the brightness of the misfocused woman's face is dimmed. In a highlighted depth of field photo, the detailed shape of the doll's hair is preserved well while the woman's face is darkened. A highlighted depth of field photo provides better visibility when the color is similar between foreground and background objects. The focused lion's hair is much clearer in the highlighted depth of field photo because the similarly colored background is dimmed. Also, the invert and compare method is very good for segmentation of high frequency features. Such a high quality segmentation image can be acquired with a depth dependent variance map. We can obtain a high quality segmentation image by subtracting the inverted pattern images. This produces a variance map in which high and low values are allocated to focused and out-of-focused regions, respectively. The high-quality segmentation result can be used for automatic natural scene matting. This is the new composition result when using an automatically generated alpha matte image. Here is another comparison when the foreground doll is focused. Again, a high-quality alpha channel image for matting is acquired by the invert and compare method. Flash matting technique is a good comparison to ours. Both are an active illumination method and use two images. Also, the matting quality is similar. However, one big difference is that our method can mat objects at different focal planes, while flash matting works only for a foreground object. It is a useful feature for practical applications to allow selectivity for matting objects by simply changing camera focus. Natural video matting technique is another good comparison to our work. They generate a variance map like our invert and compare method. They use the map to automatically generate trimap and alpha matte images. Their processing steps are similar to ours, but their system, using eight cameras, is too bulky when compared to our single camera and projector setup. Also, their method can't work for a uniform background. 
These are highlighted depth of field photo results with toy trains. The blue toy train remains in focus and is always highlighted. This is another image of toys using the invert and compare method. Our highlighted depth of field photo is very useful for segmentation of multiple objects in the same depth of field. In this conventional photo, it is very difficult to find out how many crayons are well focused. Our highlighted depth of field photo answers simply. In conclusion, the integration of the highlighted depth of field technique into everyday photography is not hard to imagine. There is already a commercially available camera with an integrated projector, the Nikon S1000. Also, Microvision has introduced a laser projector with a very long depth of field. Using a projector as a computational flash is not a future vision. The highlighted depth of field photo is in our hand now.